When a gunman opened fire, killing five, wounding 32 others, Julie Shart was there. I was teaching second grade, and one of my students was killed, and I had to rec um, identify her on the playground, which was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. It was on the morning of January 17th, 1989. A gunman opened fire on students on the playground here using a semi-automatic military-style AK-47 assault rifle. Fast forward to today, and each time there's a mass shooting, Julie Shart is reminded again of that horrific day. The first thing I think about is how horrific these incidents are for the victims and their families because um, we lose victims, but the survivors are left with the, the pain, the remembering losing somebody. Um, people who are injured, they live with those things for the rest of their lives, a lot of them. When asked what needs to change, Shart says gun laws, namely a strong federal background check bill for gun purchasers and a federal ban on military-style assault weapons. They're meant to be used by the military. They were created for the military. Law enforcement needs them, but uh, ordinary people don't need things like that, and we've seen the damage that they do. Ironically, it was the shooting at Cleveland Elementary School that prompted the 1994 federal ban on assault weapons that ended in 2004. Since then, legislation to ban them again has stalled in Congress.